Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Hey, how are you, Valder? Thank you so very much for joining us here on Dallas, Texas. Ben Mankiewicz, of course, you know he's with Turner Classic Movies. And he's here to talk today about Summer Under the Stars. Now, tell me about Summer Under the Stars. I'm so excited. Well, Summer Under the Stars is uh, probably our, our biggest programming event of the year. Starting August 1st, running straight through to 31st, uh, we take a single star each day for 24 hours and bring you exclusively movies with that star. Uh, we began on the 1st with Marilyn Monroe. We will end on the 31st with Elizabeth Taylor. Those are two pretty good bookends. Uh, but in between, we've got some very big stars, including uh, 24 Hours with Cary Grant, 24 Hours with James Cagney, 24 Hours with Sidney Poitier, uh, 24 Hours with John Wayne, uh, Barbara Stanwyck has a day. Uh, and then we have, over the course of the month, we have 12 first-time honorees on Summer Under the Stars. We've been doing this for 16 years. So uh, uh, Vanessa Redgrave, uh, Slim Pickens, George Sanders, uh, Eleanor Parker, who's the star today. Um, uh, they're all showing up here for the first time. Leslie Caron for the first time. I can't believe that's the first time we've done Leslie Caron. But uh, our programming department does a great job uh, picking which stars and then picking which movies we're going to show of those stars. Ben, I know you've been doing this for quite a while. Does it ever get old? No, no, it never gets old. There's a, you know, I, I, uh, I, I usually, I, I've seen so many movies in such a relatively short period of time that I, free, I, I frequently, if I'm going to talk about them uh, extensively, I have to watch them again, and and <laughs> I get something out of them each time. I'm, you know, sometimes I'll be 38 minutes into a movie, and I'll think. I think I saw this like eight months ago, <laughs> but I'm still into it. Uh, so uh, thankfully, my brain is, works well for this job. But, you know, I, I've been in television in some capacity uh, for a long time, uh, for, you know, like 25 years, longer than 25 years. And, and I've worked at a fair number of places. I've been here now for 14 years at TCM. There's no channel on television that has a more meaningful connection with its fans than TCM. None. It doesn't exist. As many great shows as there are, you know, I mean, I, I stayed up late last night watching Game of Thrones, and I'm, I'm addicted to it. And HBO has these great shows, and Ray Donovan on Showtime, I'm excited to start watching a new season of, and Billions, and The Americans, these great shows. But nobody feels connected to those channels. Uh, our, our viewers are connected to us. This is a, a, we're fused in many ways. They not only watch us, they feel like they watch over us, and they want to protect us, and they hold us to an incredibly high standard. I mean, Believe me, when I make a mistake, I, uh, I hear about it. Um, and, and I'll take that because, again, that's, the, that's a sign of a substantive, meaningful connection uh, between the channel and our fans. And, you know, we have a great fan club now, the TCM Backlot, that uh, I think helps facilitate the, that connection that we have. And so, yeah, I mean, I could, uh, there, there, there are other jobs to have in this business, but I, I really... I don't know any that are that meaningful. I'm just a guy on TV, but I feel like because we show these movies and these movies are so important to so many millions of people that it's actually a, a kind of an important job um, that I wouldn't have without Robert Osborne who, who you know, made this a thing, made this a valuable thing to do. So uh, I feel in incredibly lucky. It, it never, ever uh, it gets old in any way. It just gets better. And I see what you're doing for the people that come behind you because I've seen some really young hosts on this show, but they're very, very uh, knowledgeable about movies. You can tell they have room to grow, but I see you've set that platform what Robert Osborne did for you, so you're continuing that tradition. 
Yeah, well, first of all, Valder, I'm one of the young hosts on the network, right? I know that's what you were meaning to say. Yeah, uh, that's yes. what I was meaning to say. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I, I no, we, the, you know, we, we have a festival every year in Hollywood, the TCM Classic Film Festival, and, and every year we're amazed at who's there. We expect that we have an older audience, and sure, there are some of those members, those audience members there, but we're stunned every year by how many people uh, uh, in their 20s, 30s, and 40s uh, and younger teenagers uh, are here watching these movies. I, I think that the classic film is, is clearly uh, having a renaissance. We have data to back that up. Uh, as as the filmmaking process has opened up, uh, that you know it, it, you can make a quality movie for not a lot of money now uh, in the digital age, but those people aren't they can't learn from watching uh, Michael Bay and James Cameron. Not to put the quality of their work in the same sentence, but th they don't. There aren't hundred million dollar movies that they can learn from. The movies they can learn from were movies made by. Uh, uh, Carol Reed, Howard Hawks, John Ford, and Joe Mankiewicz. Um, and, and, and that's, I think, helped the process along, that you've, they've seen what can be made when you can't blow up trucks and you can't knock down buildings, but you have to tell compelling stories, well-written, uh, with memorable characters. That is so very true. Well, I'm an avid watcher of Turner Classic Movies, and so are, from what I can understand and read on Facebook, many of my audience members. When do you want us to watch Summer Under the Stars again? It's on all month. Uh, we started on the 1st. It runs through the 31st. Uh, every day, starting at 6 a.m. Eastern, uh, a different star for 24 hours. So we're today we're already in the middle of about 12 movies with Eleanor Parker. The 16th we got uh, is uh, the 40th anniversary of Elvis Presley's death. That's Elvis Presley's day. But uh, Cary Grant, James Cagney, John Wayne, uh, Barbara Stanwyck, they're all coming up later this month, and we end the month with Elizabeth Taylor. It's a great lineup, and there's nowhere you can beat that lineup. I want to thank you, Ben Mankiewicz, and thank you for the great work that you do at TCM. We really enjoy it. Thanks, Valder. Lovely to talk to you.